Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill blue dragons in Taverly Dungeon, but before I start this video, if you're looking for some more Slayer guides, please check out the description box below for a full list of all the guides I have posted thus far. Enjoy the rest of the video. So there are many ways to kill blue dragons. You can kill them with magic, range, or melee. The choice is up to you, but keep in mind that dragons are weak to stab attacks and range attacks, so choosing a ranging or melee setup is the best option. However, magic is still pretty effective against killing blue dragons. Since you can kill them with any attack style, I'll be showing you guys all the best armor setups for each category, and then you can just pick and choose which pieces of armor you want to wear. So we'll start it off with the ranging armor setups, and of course, you guys can pause the screen if you want to take a closer look at any of the charts that I posted on screen, but the most important things to remember when choosing a ranging setup is the anti-dragonfire shield. If you wield the anti-dragonfire shield, the maximum hit for the dragonfire breath is like 2-5 to five damage. With the ranging setup, you will be safe spotting the blue dragon, so you can also bring with you a range shield switch like a book of law or a twisted buckler in your inventory. But keep in mind that you will need to wear the anti-dragonfire shield when you are picking up the loot and you're close to the blue dragons because you will take some damage from the dragonfire breath. So moving on to the magic setup, and this is very similar to the ranging setup where you have the ability to safe spot the blue dragons. Make sure to wield an anti-dragonfire shield to negate the dragonfire attacks, but you can also bring with you a magic shield switch with you in your inventory like a book of darkness or a magic book while you are safe spotting. But like I said before, you will need to wear the anti-dragonfire shield when you are picking up your loot because you will be taking damage from the dragonfire breath attacks from the blue dragons. And moving on to the melee setup, I've listed the best gear that maximizes your stab bonus, strength bonus, as well as defense bonuses. In this setup, an anti-dragonfire shield is very important because you will be constantly hit by the dragonfire attacks. Wearing the anti-dragon shield will lower the damage by dragonfire attacks to about 2 to 5 damage, but if you also wear the anti-dragonfire shield, while drinking an anti-fire potion, the dragonfire breath will not hit you at all. So hopefully you have chosen the best armor setup that you can wear depending on the attack style you want to kill blue dragons with. On the screen now, I will list some of the examples for ranged magic and melee setups that I would use if I were to kill blue dragons. With every inventory setup I'm showing you, I'm also bringing with me a dusty key. If you have 70 agility, you do not need to bring the dusty key because there is a pipe shortcut that you can use that will get you straight to the blue dragons. If you don't have 70 agility, you will need to bring a dusty key with your inventory in order to access blue dragons. If you don't have the dusty key, I'll show you guys on screen how to get it, but you want to get to Taverly Dungeon and run all the way to the Black Knight's base, you might want to bring a stamina potion with you. But what you want to do is you want to kill the jailer once you get there, and it'll drop a jail key. Use the jail key on the southern door to access Belrac the Explorer. Ask if there's anything to explore in the dungeon. Say yes please and I'll give you a dusty key. So I'll now talk about each of the example setups that I've shown on screen. But for the ranging setup, I'm just bringing my best ranging gear with an anti-dragonfire shield. In the inventory, I'm bringing a couple of ranging potions, some nature and fire runes to cast low or high alchemy spells, a herb sack, Falador teleports, one dose of stamina potion, a single shark to heal my hit points, a dusty key, and a shield switch for when I am safe spotting the dragon. For the magic setup, I'm bringing my best magic gear with an anti-dragonfire shield. In the inventory, I'm bringing runes to cast the highest level spell I can, some nature and fire runes to cast low or high alchemy, one dose of stamina potion, some falador teleports, a herb sack, a dusty key, a shark to heal some hit points, and a shield switch for when I'm safe spotting the blue dragons. For the melee setup, like I said, I'm bringing the best gear that maximizes my stab bonus, my strength bonus, as well as defense bonuses. In the inventory, I'm bringing a super attack, strength, and defense potion, one dose of stamina potion, some nature and fire runes to cast low or high alchemy spells, some Falador teleports, a herb sack, some food to heal. You can also bring more or less depending on your combat stats, a dusty key, as well as an extended anti-fire potion. If you can't bring an anti-fire potion with you, just bring some more food because you will need to tank some more damage. If you are bringing an anti-fire potion with you, you can bring less food because you won't be hit by the dragonfire breath attacks. So now I'll show you guys how to get to blue dragons. So right now I am in Falador West Bank. I will use the agility shortcut right here that requires 5 agility to cross. And then all you need to do is run right here to this dungeon sign. Here are where the blue dragons at, so I will meet you guys there. So I'm now at the entrance of Taverly Dungeon, and once you get here, you can climb down the ladder. It is relatively safe once you come down here, so like I said, if you have 70 agility, uh, you can use this obstacle pipe right here, and you don't need to bring the dusty key, but if you don't have 70 agility, I will be showing you guys how to navigate through this dungeon. So it is a good idea to drink a dose of your stamina potion before you start running, so I'll drink a dose of that. 
And what you want to do is you want to run up north. And then you'll see some armor pieces on the east side of the wall here. You'll see two sets of armor there. What you want to do is you just want to spam click the prison door. These things will attack you if you aren't spam clicking it. Once you get through this dungeon door, you want to go south of the cauldron and open up this next prison door. And you want to just run through this uh, passageway and keep running east. You'll see a break in the path here. What you want to do is you want to run south. There is a shortcut sign here. Uh, if you have 63 agility, you can use these loose railings and you can go straight through the greater demon spot. But if you don't have 63 agility, uh, you just want to keep running south. And you'll see a break in the path. What you want to do is run west. You'll start seeing some lava, some scorpions. You'll also start seeing some chaos dwarfs as well. And then you want to run across this bridge and you want to keep running north. Keep running north. You will see some lesser demons pop up, so you don't have to worry about them too much. They don't hit too hard on you. So what you want to do is you want to use your dusty key onto the gate here. And then you will now have access to the blue dragons. So if you are using a melee setup, you can go ahead and drink a dose of your extended anti-fire potion as well as your super set. You can kill the blue dragons in the northern or southern room right here. Or if you are on a slayer task, you can go to the northern part of the northern room and there should be some steps right about there. And then you have your own room to kill blue dragons in. If you're using a ranging or magic setup like me, I'll show you guys all the safe spots to kill blue dragons in. So there's two safe spots in the northern room and there's one safe spot in the southern room. I'll show you guys the first couple of safe spots in the northern room. So what you want to do is you want to run northwest. And you'll see right here, just below southwest of the steps right here, here is the first safe spot. So what you can do is you can attack the dragons here and they shouldn't be able to attack you. So what you can do is you can use your twisted buckler switch or whatever shield switch that you want and then just kill the blue dragon and then wear the anti-dragon shield when you're looting. That way you don't get hit by the dragon fire breath by these other dragons. There's also another safe spot in the northern room on the southern part here. You'll see a little kind of tunnel where the blue dragons cannot get to you. So what you can do is just kind of kill the blue dragons here, put on your shield switch, and so that way you can kill the blue dragons faster. And then there is the second uh, safe spot. I'll now show you guys the other safe spot in the southern room here. So I'll just run east into the southern room. And the safe spot should be on the southeastern side of uh, the blue dragons in the southern room here. So I'll show you guys where that is. It should be right at this pillar right here where the blue dragons cannot access you. So what you want to do, you can just start attacking the blue dragons and it uh, should be no problem to kill them. I'll now show you guys the safe spots in the slayer only room. So what you want to do is you want to run up north into the northern room. And where I showed you guys the first uh, safe spot, it's just right up the steps. And like I said, you have to be on a slayer task in order to climb up these steps. So there are two different safe spots in this room. You can use the one in the eastern side here. They won't be able to access this tunnel. You can just attack them from here. Uh, there's also a safe spot in the northwestern room, or northwestern part of the room, sorry. And it's just kind of west of the rock slide here. They won't be able to attack you there. Other than that, that's just about it for this blue dragon's guide. It's very simple to kill blue dragons. Hopefully it's helped you out. If you can, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to this channel. I post a lot of RuneScape content. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.